guys what's up so long time no talk um i have a lot of good excuses but we're gonna skip them and just say that uh i've had a lot of technical problems and a lot of just no motivation so yeah uh, so today I'm going to be doing the same video that I have done every semester and today I'm going to be talking about the classes that I'm taking this semester. Luckily and sort of conveniently I'm talking about my classes after a good three or four weeks of them have uh, haven't started. That made no sense but you know what I mean. Um, so I can sort of give you like a little bit about what each class is going to entail. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. For those of you that don't know, and I typically say this in every one of these videos, I was in nursing school and then I switched to pre-med, so I've had to make up for a lot of my classes. And I've also switched from a public school to a private school, and unfortunately, they don't take a lot of the same classes, so I've had to redo a lot of those classes. Anyways, so let's start with the first class. The first class that I'm taking is organic chemistry. So I've technically already taken organic chemistry, but the thing is at Georgia State where I first took it, the first half was biochemistry and then the second half was organic chemistry. So it wasn't a full year and my school requires a full year. So I am taking that and I also have a lab. Really, really excited for this class because when I took it at Georgia State, I loved it. Um, I got like 126 in the class because my professor, um, she it was like on a bell curve the way she would like curve each test and I would get like 125, 130 on like every single exam. So yeah, and I was really good at it. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited for the lab and yeah, in fact, yesterday we actually made aspirin, which is super cool. I think one of the potential areas that I could go into when I graduate, which will be in spring, uh, would be something in a laboratory where I'm potentially making new medications or things like that. I think that would be super awesome. Next class that I have is actually a psychology class. For those of you that don't know, my minor is in psychology. So I am taking a cognitive psychology class. This class is with um, a professor that I love. I've gotten literally hundreds in every single one of her classes. She is the head of psychology at my university. So I really wanted to make sure that I had a class with her this semester for recommendations. And also I'm really interested in the brain, the cognition, the physiology in the brain, all that stuff. So I thought that cognitive psychology would be super interesting. And also in that class, we do have a research project because it is a 400 level class. Um, we're required to do a research project and mine is going to be gender differences in decision making and, and the cognition behind it. I'm super excited to do that. I've done a lot of projects uh, in research on differences in genders. I did language variations, variations in genders and that was super interesting. So yeah, that's what I'm doing in that class. My next class is is a capstone class. So this class uh, it changes every semester at my school. So my particular capstone is advanced cellular and molecular concepts. And the only reason why my capstone is that is because the professor that is teaching that class is really into neurology, which is awesome. I can't believe I somehow ended up in that capstone because obviously that's something that I'm really interested in. So pretty much in that class, because it's a capstone, uh, we talk about different articles that she posts every week and pretty much these articles sum up all of the classes that we've taken so it's bringing in concepts that we might have had two or three years ago and we're all just discussing the whole time uh, so it's not like a lecture class yes you're learning new things but it's sort of like a everyone's talking to each other like round table discussion and then also in that class we have a research project yet again um or whatever we want to do. So mine is going to be the influence of caffeine on amyloid beta proteins in uh, Alzheimer's characteristics in monkeys. There's a specific species of monkeys that I'm monkeys that I'm doing. It's like macaca. It starts with an F, but I I can't remember it off the top of my head. 
So yeah, that's my research project for that class. For those of you that don't know, last semester I did a research project on polyunsaturated fats and dopamine and Parkinson's characteristics in macaca mulata monkeys. So this semester I decided to do a different, I decided to do a different neurodegenerative disease, um, which again is something that I'm really interested in. So yeah, that is my project. And coincidentally, two of the discussions and articles we've done so far have been on Parkinson's disease and on Alzheimer's. So that was super fun and something I'm truly interested in. Boo boo. Um, and then also, quick quick note, I forgot about this. We also have a lab in um, our capstone class and we're working with Daphnia. I've worked with Daphnia before and I actually saw yet again effects of caffeine on the Daphnia. Um, I just gave them powdered forms of caffeine um, for food and that was super cool. But this semester, but um, this semester we're taking toxins and we're going to see how they affect our Daphnia. I haven't chosen my topic with my group yet, or my toxin with my group yet, so stay tuned for that. And then lastly, I have two online classes. One of them is a QCP class and it's pretty much just like, uh, like a roundabout way of ending your college career. It's nothing too exciting. You're pretty much just saying, it's, you're pretty much just discussing, um, you know, current issues, current events, what you're going to do when you graduate, how you're planning on going about uh, putting everything together um, as you're graduating, budgeting, things like that. So it's an all right class, but it, it's nothing with science or anything like that. So I'm just sort of like, eh, whatever. And then lastly, I am taking a forensic psychology class and I'm truly really Sorry, my dog keeps trying to open this door. Um, it's something that I'm actually really interested in. Once again, it's all about, uh, you know, the legal system. We've been talking about certain instances like the Virginia shooter. Um, and then there was one with a brother who asked his brother to kill him and then like the morality behind that and the legality in that. So, I don't know, I, found those, I find those topics really interesting. Um, I'm also doing a serial killer project in that class and I chose Ted Bundy. So I'm going to be focusing on what made him do the things he did, um, perhaps the way he grew up. And yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you got a good gist of my classes. This is my second to last semester. I will be graduating in the spring and I'm really, really excited. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and until next time, bye.